Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between JDG and Weibo during round 3 of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Tip wise, two grubbies went over to JDG, Dragon now started up from Weibo, but the Scuttle Crab take might delay them, they're just going to go for it anyways with the presence they have from bot side. That's <laughs> Just gonna have Shao do that one by himself is a bit surprising that they're gonna commit light over at least for a bit, but it looks like with how the wave state was, I like it. They're actually bringing over Shao Hu as well. So member's gonna be here, make sure that no sneaky shenaniganry can come out from Kanavi. Ooh, but sneaky shenaniganry is afoot here. Kanavi is looking for Shao Hu on the transition. Yes, does end up walking around the long way, so he won't go for it just yet. Yagao, he does not have the tippers, but he does have the CC. Xiao Hu getting kicked. The CC gonna connect. They're gonna go for it under tower here, but they can't get the damage down. Yagao gets out of the seismic shove. JDG's play goes awry. Bot side, Weibo. though. Weibo looking to get their own swing in. Chris tanking the turret. He's gonna go into the face call. Now they're gonna get first blood, too, and they get out alive. A juggle complete. A turret play taken, and Weibo are first. Another movement combo from Xiao Hu. That we want to see. Weaver's wall is available. They could go bot. Ooh. Gao has TP though, and Kanavi's here. Yeah, they don't know that just yet. He is going to be playing off the wave. Tidal wave coming in. Ruler is the focus right now. Fate's call going to be the play again. Crescent guard out. Ruler's down. President has been taken down, but Kanavi gets one right back. And already, already paying for the flash that he just lost, right? If he had that, might have been able to escape here. Uh, with the one kill they had, without that, is just gonna end up being a one for one. So nice read by JDG, matching the play. And Want to make good on his advantage. They can't do it though. The mini wave isn't there. No, so he's gonna try and back off. He's kind of baiting them, but Chris is waiting all. in the wings. But there's no equalizer <laughs> on the rumble. Oh, the void rush coming in, and here comes the Rek'Sai. Crisp is here though, with those harpoons. They sink deep. They're electrifying. ZDZ's got the speed from the ghost, but he can't make it out even from that Q3 knockback. I think a bit of a strange like stay from ZDZ. You know they're doing they're doing the objective so they can easily rotate the top side. Again, Chris was moving up, but Chris didn't have equalizer at the time. So even him not really providing much help on, on the rumble, so really just giving over a free kill to JDG, they at least will be able to answer back with a turret for themselves. But first but, uh, turret went to JDG. Yeah, huge. You see 86% uh, main fights. TP coming through for Shahu. They actually are going to just come into this one. Equalizer is going to be utilized now as well. Light try to hop to skip his way into the fight. Xiaohu going to use the Weaver's Wall. Now they are caught out. Ruler over the wall. You got stuck. He is in some trouble. He's going to flash his way out there. Nice triple knockback, though. The Vlandre is on the other side. They still are trying to catch out Kanavi. He's still alive, though. Look how much damage the Tippers is doing. And with that malignance, so much burning on the ZDZ. And the Dragon is JDGs. These teams know how to box, man. And we ain't stopping oh, just yet. Xiao who's trying to separate, but a big bubble on a Xiao how nobody else gonna go down. Everyone's still alive. The dragon got taken out, and I couldn't be more entertained. I'm a bit surprised that Wavebook don't get punished for what feels like another very questionable. The flash! Oh, Andre. oh my god, Vondre, you Chad! He goes and Void Rush a plenty too, and they have found the back line. Kanavi's under turret though. He's taking the turret shots. Another one falls, and JDG Light finds one on the other side though and gets a big shutdown onto Kanavi. They will end up getting the outer tower here for JDG. Yagao wants a little bit more, but they come the out. Last one very much kind of ended up being just a zoning tool, which I don't know if Label even wanted to zone, considering that they then went for the engage. <laughs> a little bit of uh, desync. Oh, speaking what? of desync, Wait. that feels so bad. Wait Ruler burns the flash, the ignite, the ulti, and takes down light. My god, that is huge, and that is the ruler that people have wanted to see looking for those opportunities. Taking out light, now going to give them even more freedom on the map. Sadly, not really oh, much no. they can pivot it into, but we're going to go straight into Dude, the replay. this is what he's so good at. Yeah, gets buffed up by the Nami. I mean, Ignite comes out. That's really all she wrote. Uh, light, not having flash up, not being able to escape. 
Ruler has been one of the utmost experts to that kind of fog of war gameplay that we see so prominent with LPL Lucian. I think especially on see Lucian, him. yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. In LPL Lucian, a lot of time in late game, that's what we see them play for. And Ruler has been insane in those moments. Now, you guy's going to have to pull a little insanity of his own. He's just locked down from hell. Flandre has joined the fight, though. He's going to be able to get some good knockups here, but he has nobody joining him. Void Rush to try to get the safety, but he's just going down for the count. Shao cleans him up. And now Weibo can move forward as five onto oh, the three members of JDG. Wait, the three members. The three members are actually more than strong enough to hold Weibo at bay. Yo, yo, yo. Xiaohu's in a lot of trouble here. Kanavi, if he... Uh, that might be a point of contention. Especially if Xiaohu or ZDZ can find their way on top of him. The last time around, nobody died. This time around, oh, the Grim Reaper's just waiting on the side. There is no way we get out without any blood spilled here. Flandre going back into the pit using his tunnels. He does have the Void Rush available, everything available. Looking for Yagao's big Flash TP, or at least Flash Tipper's play, rather. Xiaohu looking for a big Weaver's Wall. Dragon resets there as the Dragon comes through the weaver's wall separates it at least they find zdz on the side that's going to be a big equalizer over from chris weibo are still trying to fight the dragon here but ruler's going to pull the calling trigger flandre fighting over on a zdz dragon's getting low shaohao's the one that gets it that's soul point you got flash play though with the tippers knocked back into infinity flandre's on shaohu now as well weibo they've got to find a way to give the fight kanavi going on the back line too but he can't do it light is able to fight back and Crisp is burning them alive with his namesake. Yagao gets a double. The rest is up to Weibo to make it out alive. We finally had blood, and it's going to be JDG favored. I mean, Weibo taking advantage of the fact that so many members of JDG get separated, but once again, JDG finding, finding more than enough to be happy. We got to say the silver lining, right? Weibo is on soul point now. So the fact that they were able to get that dragon is huge. But the, Jin, already in the first two games, they are just positioning to fight before this dragon. Again, man, I love Ruler. We have a small window, but he separated. They have Ruler. They have he Ruler. They caught him out. Not like this. Nightmares are coming back to hunt JDG. And now Weibo, they can move into this dragon. They can look for soul here. Going for it, they're running them down. They have numbers advantage. You go! You go! He gets the double play there. They have the Crescent Guard for Chow How. It's actually separating so much damage, but Kanavi finds Crisp anyways. Light try to fight over. Ends up cleaning on you go, but it's still what? JDG fighting tooth and nail. ZDZ claims Kanavi's life. Missing's here to help Blondre. And who but the man in the top lane can make the difference? Who but Blondre, the world champion? And who but this man on Rek'Sai could deny Weibo's hopes and dreams as he tears him limb from limb. He's still fighting him down, and it's JDG who clean house. Vladre coming out huge from that fight. Again, they first take this Rek'Sai. It needed. Fight potential. They have Kanavi with a damage build, and they're just going to burn this purple worm down. And they really don't have any great flank wards down or vision set up for ZDZ, so it's just going to have to keep in with the team and run at them head first. Run at them, if you will. Will it crack their skull, or will it be as hard as iron? Xiaohu's skull is already looking a little cracked. As Ruler still in there, they're going to force this Baron flip. Xiaohu's right on the edge. Wind becomes there lightning. Xiaohu, he's in the pit. It's a 50-50, but guess who gets it? It's the engine that runs JDG. It's Kanavi, and they onto the back line. Nice double kick there. It's huge as he's going to find light, too. He's running him down on the other side. Xiaohu, he's onto the back line, but he can't do it. He can't stick it. Ruler on the other side, and Ruler outplays him. A double kill, and everyone is still there. There for JDG, Flandre the willing sack. In game one, they took a little bit of Weibo's medicine and threw it right back to them. In game two, they introduced them to a whole nother level of hell as they have reared their heads and they are looking to sweep Weibo 2-0. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and Weibo. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.